Welcome back to another opening. I'm Moana Turtle, and we have another Sword and Shield product to open. Today, this time we're just gonna do a Elite Trainer Box featuring the Zamacenta. And not too crazy about how this box looks, although one thing you can tell in the back is that it comes with either, either legendary um, dog. <laughs> Either the Zacian or Zamacenta sleeves. So that's kind of cool that you get, there's two different ones to collect. I'm not, can't think of a time when they did that. Although I haven't only been back into collecting in the past like, I don't know, handful of years. So if they did that prior to like XY or whatever, I wouldn't know. Uh, the box is a little bit different and you know, this serves no functional purpose, but it is kind of cool. Uh, nice packaged. So that nothing is damaged and we'll only have eight packs today is a code card for some sleeves for the online game and all right so yeah we got the zamacenta dividers oh okay they're actually the same because they're decent on the back and here are the sleeves i do like how they have two different kinds but i will say that this sleeve looks very underwhelming and oh actually you, under the right lighting you can see them but on that like Straight on, <laughs> doesn't look that cool. And of course, ooh, okay, the burn and um, poison thing is a little bit different. Obviously no more GX counter and the dice. Oh wow, okay, they changed the dice so they, it's not just, we got one, two, three, four, wait, that one's a normal one. Then we have some dice with much higher numbers starting at 100. Oh no, starting at, oh, it looks like it just can picks up so like, 70 to 120 i see a 150 looks like this one's going to 180 so they kind of increment through 60s which is a nice touch as pokemon continue to get more and more hp for to knock out a Snorlax v max with 340 hp you'll need a bunch of dice but maybe not anymore and i do like that change all right let's get into the packs as far as what we're looking for Man, we got some great results from our first booster box. Ooh, this pack kind of opened kind of funny. And we actually got seven hits. Obviously, for ETBs, there's no kind of guaranteed ratio or anything. So we could get anything. We could get multiple hits. We could get zero, which would be very disappointing. I just want to make sure we get at least one ultra rare or better. And I will be satisfied with this opening. As far as what pulls we want, I think definitely want the Marnies. Probably, oh wow, Torkoal V, and I do like. So again, this is the new full art, and it's not just like one background. Uh, this obviously we have some flames in there as well with the purple, and I do kind of like this change. And because like you know, I've been saying a lot about like Rainbow, I'm kind of over, and at least they're kind of doing things differently in X Y era. I feel like they had very cool backgrounds that led to some very cool cards, and I do like, and I like this Torkoal. Combustion Pillar 90 plus, uh, discard the top card of your deck. If it's a fire energy, does additional 90. That attack is okay, but Steam Crush I find very scary. Discard two energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. I wonder if you just put this into a typical fire deck with Welder, you know, you could get that out very quickly on your second turn and then basically taking out all your opponent's energy sounds very strong. So the current list I run with the Meowth V Max and it just has like welders and stuff. I think uh, Torkoal could easily be slotted in there. I don't think he will replace Heatran, who is the other primary fighter. But I think there we can definitely find space for him. Quillfish, energy switch. All right, so we already got our hit. And again, even if we didn't get anything else, I will still be satisfied with this opening. Ooh, Rillaboom. Okay, that's our fourth Rillaboom. And now we got a bunch of variants. We don't have a pre-release Rillaboom, but now we have this reverse one, a regular one, and two League promos. And then just a Morpeko. Attack the Wound. 10 plus. If your opponent's active Pokemon already has damage counters on it, this attack does 50 more. Hmm. That doesn't sound that good. But I'm happy with that Rillaboom. And maybe we could pick up another Professor's Research. We don't need <laughs> any other Ultra Rares. But now let's just pick up some useful cards that I'm sure we'll get eventually. But let's just get take care of it right away. I still am a fan of these new energies. I think I like them better than the kind of like that metal door looking kind of thing from the previous uh, variation. Palpad. Krabby. 
Chinchino, Ponyta, we still haven't found a Chinchino, Score Bunny, a Bolton, and I do feel like this card has potential against water type decks. It's probably gonna one shot everything or for that revolve around GX or V. And then a Noctowl, this card is kind of funny. Has a very interesting attack carry off. Choose one of your opponent's bench Pokemon and basically put them back into their deck and all attached cards. Wonder if there are some annoying control shenanigans that can be done. Ooh, I feel like some of these cards have a good amount of edge wear. So like, we just take a look at this one. Hmm, not very happy about that. Almost reminds me of those Burning Shadows ETBs that we've been opening with terrible quality. Palpad, almost have a, I'm, I bet we have a playset of those already. Skaroopy, Klobopus, Wooloo, very cute. Pokey Kid, kinda like this card. And then a Sandaconda, pulling a bunch of these and I think I'm good on Sandacondas now. All right, four packs remaining. This is going to be a quick opening. But uh, yeah, if uh, you haven't been able to find any yet, I think any place that did a pre-release most likely will be able to sell stuff tomorrow. So that's Monday. Because they usually start selling it on the Monday of the release. B-Sharp. Evolutionary Incense. Nice Vitality Band. Pincherin. Vulpix. Nicket. Baltoy. Chincho. Goldine, and oh my gosh, another Sandaconda. I guess because there's different variations of them, maybe that feels like we're pulling a bunch of them. Not the foil rare we're looking for. Alright, can we get one more hit? Hunter? Goldine? Hmm, this... Goldeen art looks kind of familiar. Roselia, Joltik, Silicobra, Blipbug, a Zigzagoon. This is the one where you can get just a damage counter when you play it. Ooh, we did get the Zamacenta. All right, we got both dogs. While well, we have the, the gold one of Zacian, now we have the regular Zamacenta. And yeah, this one is, in my opinion, not as good, although it can just has universe protection against VMAX or has protection against VMAX Pokemon um, which definitely is helpful and Assault Tackle remove a special energy from when your opponent active Pokemon. If that was just like a energy because I feel like there's a lot of attacks that just remove energy but this one is restricted to special energy and it is reactive your opponent's active. Okay two hits from an ETB. Now I'm very happy with this opening and we still got two more packs. We got the Lanoon, Rotom Bike, Drizzle, Rookity, Krabby, Grookey, Mudbray, Hoot Hoot, a Lucky Egg. This card's interesting. I wonder if this will see play. Oh, nice, the Frost Moth. This is another pre release card that we haven't been able to get yet. And I feel like there's a lot of potential here. Obviously, you can just play all the water energy you want from your hand onto any of your water Pokemon, though, specifically bench water Pokemon. Sorry if you can hear that car alarm in the background. We'll try to do this last opening real quick. In case you didn't already know, I do live on a busy street. So things like emergency vehicles, sirens and that kind of stuff do happen occasionally, including car alarms. But it sounds like it's not. All right, last pack. Very happy with this opening. Diglett, Pharaoh Seed, that definitely looks familiar. Sobble. And then a Durant. Pulled a bunch of him last time. So for very notable cards, we got another Reverse Rillaboom. A regular Frostmoth with Ice Dance. A, eh, these ones are less relevant, but I do want to see if they can make them work in some kind of deck. And then our two big hits, a Torkoal V. I believe this is, I'm going to call this the full art variety. And then a regular Zamacenta. So very solid opening right there and um 
yeah so far i'm really enjoying sword and shield and look forward to more videos in the future thanks for watching i'm moana turtle and i'll catch you guys next time